Yo, hey guys, what is up? It's JJ Tech here back again for another YouTube video, another tech video. And today I've got you my iPhone 11 review video. Now, before I get into today's video, if you haven't seen my last video of me unboxing my brand new gaming PC, go and check that video because that video was really, really good. And I definitely recommend watching that video. And for all you people wondering when a review video is com coming out of that and stuff, well, that's coming out after this video, and I know you guys have been waiting for that iPhone 11 review video, as well as that comparison with the iPhone XR. Just to let you guys know a little sneak peek, all those videos are coming, and I also wanted to give a little bit of an announcement. So as you know, I got a brand new gaming PC, so that means I'll be able to upload videos two to three times a week, and I'm not even lying to you guys, this time I mean for real, for real. I will be uploading at least two to three times a week and I'm not even kidding guys so yeah turn on your post notifications so you can get notified every time I upload all these videos and in the future to come all the videos that I'm gonna be uploading so yeah now let's get in to the review video alright so as you know I usually do my cons and stuff and pros but I'm gonna be switching it up today I'm gonna be talking about basically just the differences between this and the iPhone XR and as well as the pros and the cons but mostly I'm gonna focus on what's changed this year compared to last year's iPhone 10 alright so the first thing is the cameras so as you know I'm gonna get the specs out of the way we have two dual 12 megapixel cameras for the primary we do have a standard lens and for the secondary we do have a wide angle lens so as you know Apple added that wide angle lens to compete with like Samsung and Google well, actually no not Google anymore because Google Pixel 4 doesn't even have a wide angle lens, which kind of sucks. But you get the idea. Came out with another lens to compete with the other brands. And I got to say, guys, it's really, really good. And I will be showing some samples in a little bit to show you how the camera quality looks. Now, another difference is the processor. This has the A13 Bionic chip compared to last year's A12 Bionic chip. So it will be a little bit faster then last year's iPhones of course because it is a whole new processor and this does bump up the RAM from 3 gigabytes to 4 gigabytes of RAM so you do get one more gigabyte of RAM which should help with RAM management now I did forget to mention the front camera also got an upgrade from alrighty so the front camera is a 12 megapixel camera here and so it did get an upgrade from 7 to 12 which is a pretty significant upgrade and now you can record and take pictures in 4K Ultra HD, which is really, really good upgrade compared to last year's iPhone XR, which barely recorded 1080p in the front camera. So if you like to record 4K, well, you're going to be recording good with this iPhone 11. And in terms of differences, that's pretty much it. It's pretty much those main differences, the cameras and the processor. But other than that, you're pretty much, it's pretty much the same phone as last year. So if you have an iPhone XR and you're looking to upgrade, let me tell you, it's not really worth the upgrade. Now, I will be throwing out some samples here and here to show up how the camera looks on the rear. I did forget to take some selfie cameras, but you know the idea. It will look a little bit better, but it doesn't really look that different either way. I have the two pictures that I took on the rear cameras, and as you can see, they look really, really good. And it was in kind of a little bit of a darker environment. Not completely dark, as you can see, there's a bunch of light but it was a little bit darker environment. Now, until the, the display, it is the same resolution of last year's iPhone XR, so it did get no upgrade from there, but I believe it now supports HDR10 in the display, so when you're watching your videos or your Netflix or whatever, any content that supports HDR10 will be shown up on the iPhone 11 screen, which is a really, really good upgrade from last year's screen. But overall, this phone is a really, really good phone. Do I recommend picking this up from the iPhone XR? Probably not. It's not really that worth of an upgrade. Unless you really are a camera fanboy, then I guess it is worth the upgrade. But if you don't really care about the camera, you don't really like that, you don't really care about the boost and upgrade that it has, honestly, from the iPhone XR to the iPhone 11, really isn't worth the upgrade. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. I know it's kind of a shorter review video, but I'm trying to change up the content. And also, this just didn't really have much difference compared to the iPhone XR but yeah really good design as you can see here we have the two lenses here and overall guys it's a really really good phone 
And like I said, I've had it for about two weeks now. Like I said, it's not my phone. So I didn't really even spend too much time with it. But overall, it's a really, really good phone. And the video capabilities on this phone is actually really, really good as well. So yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Turn on post notifications and follow my Instagram because I because I put all my updates and I tell you guys when I upload a video as well and when this video is going to drop. So yeah, follow my Instagram link down below as well as check out my last video because it's a really, really exciting video. So yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.